Alright, to be honest, I've recorded a Wasteland Workshop video, and then I didn't like the way it turned out. It just didn't turn out the way I wanted, and it sucked. So I didn't even upload it. I didn't even, <laughs> like, I didn't even finish editing it. I was like, this is fucking malarkey. But I have taken all these extra little good things that, that were added with the Wasteland Workshop, and I've done something with them. Codsworth, what are you doing? It's all muscly. What are you doing out here? Huh. Anyways, I've done uh, some, some minor enhancements that I think you guys might find appealing. Alright, so first off, um, my house, which was previously up here, is no longer up here. I still have the bus, though, just because of, uh, you know, it's got some sentimental value to it. This was my first home in the wasteland. It's nice. This is cozy. I never really came in here because I quickly expanded out this platform and had all my workbenches down it. And uh, and so that was that was kind of a big deal. But, you know, now I've gone a step above. I said, what's better than the second story where I can kind of look out over everything? I wanted to get, like, the most legit thing I could get to have just the best view. And so what, what did I do? I made a fucking ultra-modern house up here. shit out. And now it doesn't matter what I'm doing. I can sit here and craft and fucking keep an eye on everything. I can- look at this! I got all my workbenches set up. Got desks, got- I got the bed over here for the sneaky fun times, you know what I'm saying? So uh, make love and keep an eye on that, uh, there's a- there's a fucking checkpoint down there for the railroad people. I can keep an eye on them from here, make sure everything's going alright, you know what I'm saying. What's that? Huh? Uh, oh, Deacon? Is that, is that what you're talking about? Deacon's got plenty of room, baby. He's got his own bedroom in here. Look at this. Swanky-ass place. I even gave him a little mirror ball on the ceiling just in case, you know, he gets he gets some girls up here. He ain't getting any girls up here. That guy's a fucking loser. Got a desk for stuff. Uh, apparently, I got a rodent problem, you know, but uh, I'll take care of that. Billiards table. That's kind of useless. I don't know why that's in here. Got a nice living room over here. Uh, magazine stand. The whole nine. You know. You know what's. You know what's going down. By the way, do you guys know what I did with my other bobbleheads? Like, where are my bobbleheads at? Because I used to have a bunch of them, and they were in a stand somewhere, and now I don't know where they are. So that sucks. Uh, this obviously this place is not finished. I don't know what to put here. So if you guys have any idea. I was thinking actually dividing this into a separate room that would just be for robot stuff. And, uh, but yeah, I don't know what to do over here. And you're like, eh, Sam, this is kind of lame. You know, there's not much to it. But I also got an upstairs. Look at this. I got AstroTurf up here. This thing takes off my radiation when I go through it. You know, that's just, that's just cool shit. You know? I just had an idea. I think, uh, I think, I believe... My bobbleheads are probably over at my first house at Spectacle Island. Okay, see, that see, Spectacle Island is Swank Pad Mark One. Okay, I tried to do the, you know, ultra modern look, uh, but it just it just didn't it just didn't work, uh, and I didn't really like the house that much. It sucked. Grey Garden is um, Ultra Swank Pad Mark Two. It is actually nice. Looks good. Fucking, I can't figure out where my bobbleheads are. They're probably up here somewhere. Here we go. That's what's up. Oh, and I got like suits of armor here. What the fuck? Really? Huh. Should I take this since like this is a collector's item now that I... <laughs> now that I shit all over their little stupid Boy Scout club. Alright guys. Wow, the little light on this thing sucks. I'll get back downstairs. Alright, now I did put... I think I put one of those fast travel things on there, so I gotta make sure this thing works. I should fast travel into the, the front of my downstairs room. Here we, oh, sweet! It works! Okay. Look at me in the thick of it. Alright. 
Alright, so I put Codsworth on, uh, on fucking run this thing duty. The artillery piece, I'm not sure if he can do that. He can do that? Get over there and work that thing, buddy! Alright, so the house looks dank from here, but I <laughs> look at Deacon's forehead up there. Um, I found one problem, is like, once I jump down onto the interstate, like, there's no way to get back up. Which kind of sucks. <laughs> I can put her in fucking, like, 1950s, like, housewife clothes. Yeah, baby. Look at you, styling. Do you have pantyhose on? Her legs are, like, super shiny. Okay, by the way, just a little add-on here. These things were a huge fucking lit down. I thought they went and retrieved things for you. They don't retrieve shit. They just tell you where stuff is. You know how fucking lame that is? Recover the aluminum. Recover the mini nuke. Search for te uh, fucking stuff. I, well, I do need aluminum, but it's still stupid. I shouldn't have to do it like this. Paid five bucks for this DLC. They uh, they should bring me my damn aluminum. <laughs> I didn't actually pay for it. They sent me a copy. <laughs> Whoa, there's like people busting ass in here. Uh-oh. 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 Oh. They're really beating the ass over there. Hold still. Ooh, shit! <laughs> Why is this game so loud? You know? I did a lot of damage to that guy, but... Damn, dude. You scared me. Think? Yo, look at that! They bit this guy over the bed! They were plopping him right in the shitter. You could tell. Bah! Bah! That's what I'd do if I if it was Apocalypse Man. I would bang any and everything. Just, I mean, I know that's horrible, but uh, just Super Saiyan on that one. I'm just saying. I mean, like, who's gonna, who's gonna stop you? It's the it's the fucking end times. You could just blame it on that. Whoa! Oh, that's unfortunate. I haven't saved in a hot minute. That is some that is uncouth. I just want to see how far back I am before I just scream and fucking and say this game's stupid. And I really have to go take a dump so I don't even want to finish doing it. Yep, I'm all the way back here. This game is fucking stupid. These fucking iBots are fucking stupid. Fucking scrapping these for a pretty penny. Can I have all my stuff back, whatever it costs to make those? Thank you. But I got my new house though, so that's all that matters. So thanks for watching. This is Venereal Disease Sam. It's been fantastic time just just broing out with you guys. You know what I'm saying? Just having a little bit of little dick to butt conversation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I gotta. Uh, I think I'm gonna build some sort of arena, something like that. Trap trap some stuff just to trap things. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm just gonna trap things. Maybe some ghouls or something like that. Keep it nerdy. You know what I'm talking about? Picking up what I'm putting down over here. Yo, uh, I'm not going to lie, though, uh, as a little added thing. So I have uh, the mod that helps your settlements expand. Uh, you can, like, I can build all the way out here. And typically, you can only build all the way to, like, right here. And you can also build higher up and farther over. Uh, it doesn't really expand this settlement as much as some other settlements. Yes. Here we go. Hangman's Alley. Hangman's Alley is... You can like build throughout the entire square block now, so you could have like a city house. And I feel really tempted to. Uh, I know this is something that's totally not interesting to most of you, but um, and I think if I did it, tell me if you're interested. By the way, I think what I'd do is I would just have this long ass video of me just absolutely going ham, egg, and cheese on this place, building up like a a, a shanty city. You know, in the, like, Hangman's Alley. Because I think it would be cool to be in the heart of the city. Frame rates would be butt shits because, I mean, look at this place. They're butt shits just standing here. But, I mean... Oh, I'll take that. But, like, you're in the thick of it here. This is this is in the middle of the city. And, hold on, let me just TCL this thing. Boop! And turn on the workshop mode. You can go up, but you can also go over now. It expanded how far you can build. Uh, hell, I can build over here with these fucking... Uh, 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 hold on. 
I can. It, oh, here's the buildable workshop area right here. I could have a turret set up here, and it would just mow these fuckers down every time they spawn. Let's see how far I can go this way. Shit, dude! I could have a bridge coming over here. Oh wait, outside buildable area. Is that what is this? What are you? Huh? I could still put a bridge over there, I think. Anyways, yeah. So if you guys are interested in that, maybe I could, maybe I could do that. So thanks for watching. This is General Sam, and have a nice day. Okay, for cereals, I didn't do this. Why the fuck is this lady <laughs> twenty feet tall? <laughs> What? I just, I, I was in here and I was setting the time scale. Not set scale, but uh, that, that's what happened to her apparently. But I was, set, I was setting the um, SGTM. It's like the global time, whatever. And this fucking happened. I didn't even click on her. Oh, look at this. She's a tiny little lady. Hey, tiny... <laughs> Tiny little lady. Oh god. <gasps> that gives me an idea. Oh my lanta. Deacon, where the fuck are you? <laughs>